it is not enough to publish a book on Amazon. There are some things that you need to know in order to ensure that your book is successful and you make sales on Amazon. Yes, it is very important, not just creating a book, but there are some things that you need to know about a book before creating that book. There are several things that you need to do. There are keywords research that you need to do in order for you to be able to ensure that this particular niche that you're going into is actually a profitable one. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do your keyword research on Amazon KDP. So my name is Mary Joy. I'm an online entrepreneur. I'm also a content creator. If this is your first time of watching my video, I'm super excited to have you. Welcome to the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming to watch my video. On this channel, I share tips, strategies, and opportunities that you can use to make money for yourself online. If this kind of thing interests you, don't forget to click on the subscribe button right now and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your post notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a video. And if you enjoyed this video, do well to leave a comment in the comment section and also share with your friends and family. Let them know that this video is actually valuable. So without further ado, we're going to be jumping right into the video of today. So in today's video, like I already said, I'm going to be giving you guys um, tips on how you can do your keyword research so as to ensure that your book it's actually ranking on the first page or the second page on Amazon so that people can easily find your book. These are things that you need to know because you're not the only person publishing on Amazon. So you need to be able to help your, your, your customers find your book easily. And that is why keyword research is very important. Much more than any other thing that you'll be doing on Amazon, much more than publishing, much more than having a book cover, which is also very important, or the content of your book. You also need to ensure that you're doing the right keyword research so that you're using the right keywords that will help people find your book easily. So right now we're going to be into Google. So right now we're going to go into this video proper. Don't forget to watch this video to the end because I'm going to actually be revealing some um, free tools that you can use that will also help your, your research to be very, very easy. So ensure that you watch this video to the end. So first of all, we're going to be going on Amazon and we're going to click on. So we're going to come to this page and click on Amazon non-fiction bestseller list. So we're going to search for that. And when we search on it, this particular, the first um, um, result, we're going to click on it. So right now we're going to be doing a research on the type of book we want to write. That's the first thing that you need to understand. So right now there is a particular tool I would like you to download. It's also going to help you. It's called um, the Amazon Quick View. So let's go to Google and click on Amazon Quick View. Please kindly, kindly take note of these tools because they are very important. So right now, I already have this um, extension in on my laptop. So it's going to, it's asking me to remove because I already have. So for those of you that are downloading it for the first time, just you have to add the extension. You'll see where it will ask you to add. So once you've already added that, then you can now, let's continue the process. So right now, there are several niches, there are several markets um, on Amazon, where you can publish your books on. There are, there's art and photography. There are a lot of things, but I want you to take note of three markets that are actually very, that are booming. That is the um, wealth, um, relationship, and health. These three things are really, they are super uh, profitable markets. Like for many products, whether it's um, eBooks, whether it's um, um, digital products, whether it's um, anything, these markets are always very profitable. And the same thing applies for um, Amazon KDP. We have the money, like I said, we have the wealth, we have the relationship, and we have um, the health market. So you have to take note of these three markets. They are the, they are the ones that are really profitable. Not that you cannot publish books on other um, uh, markets, you actually can, but I'm actually just giving you um, um, ideas on the market that are actually profitable. So right now, this is like, this is where the wealth uh, market we talked about. This is the health market we talked about. And this is the, the relationship market we, talk about, we talked about. So right now, let me just quickly show you, I don't want this video to be too long, but I'm going to quickly show you how you can do your research. Let's say, for example, you want to publish a book now. Okay, so let's say, for example, now you want to publish a book. Let's say I want to publish a book and um, I want it to be in the, the relationship type of thing. Um, I can just come to this. You can actually um, um, explore all these markets. So I'm going to come to romance. Let's come to romance. Another thing you should take note of when you're trying to publish your book is that when you are looking at um, that, that um, extension I asked you to download, we help you see the best seller rank of a book. It would help you see the best. And so when you're trying to um, pick a niche or a market that is actually good, ensure that 
the books in that market or in that niche, their bestseller rank is between one to 20,000. Anything that is above 20,000 is not really okay for you to venture into it. So ensure that the bestseller rank is between one to 20,000. Do you understand? So right now, we are we are actually, we've clicked on romance, but even in romance, there are still several um, sub markets under romance. So let's just look for one. Let's click on, let's say fantasy. Now we've already clicked on fantasy. And now it has already brought out several other options. Remember, I said the BSR rank should be between one to 20,000. So look at this one now. This one is showing 79, which is very, very good. This is very, very good. This is 113. Um, this is 129, 148. These are very, very good. Like they are doing well. These books are doing well in the Kindle store. Like this, these books, this, this, this um, niche is actually good. Um, it's actually good. The books are doing like fantastic. There are some niches that when you click on the first um, page, you'll be seeing maybe um, 5,000, 2,000. You'll be seeing um, um, 3,000 as the bestseller rank for the first book. But for this one, we can see 79. This is awesome. So let me explain to you what the 79 means, what the owner of this book and what the person is making per day. So let's come to um, Google. We are going to click on So let's come to Google, um, bestseller calculator. Let's just use bestseller calculator. So when you click on BSR calculator, we're going to come to this space, Amazon book sales calculator. So just a glimpse into what this book, the owner of this book is making per day. So now it says, what's the BSR rank? If you remember the BSR rank was 79. Let's quickly take a look at the number of pages that the book is. When you click on this, that's the thing. That stuff you downloaded will give you all the details. So when you click on this, it will show you, you can see there is 259 pages. It's 259 pages over here. So just take note of that, 79 to 59. So you come over to this place. Come over here. Um, so this says um, 79 and it's an ebook. It's actually an ebook. Um, so, okay, it's not accepted for the pages. So it just says sales, calculate sales. So are you seeing it? Sales per month is 18,752. Okay, let's just say sales per day. That's 1,250. And this book actually costs um, $4.99, like $4.99. So if you multiply $4.99 by 1,250 copies that is selling per day, that is over $6,200. $37. If you're a Nigerian, you know how much that actually means in our local currency. That is a whole lot of money. So that is how much this author is actually making per day. Not to talk of how much is, is how much books that he is selling per month. This is a lot of money. That is why you need to pay attention. You need to understand this um, um, particular aspect in order for you to, to create books that would actually sell on Amazon. So right now we already understand that okay, this particular niche is actually good. The mark, the, the, the there is a there is it's actually profitable because the books that are there, they are doing well, the books are ranking well. So all you need to do is just understand oh what's what what are things that are commonplace, what are the things that are common to these people. So you actually look, look at it, everything is actually doing well. Like every single book is actually ranking. If you decide to calculate the um, number of sales that these books are making, they are making a whole lot of, of money. So this is actually good. So right now, if you, before you now start creating, I know we already checked the BSR, it's actually okay. We've already calculated um, um, how much they're making it. They consider it's a lot of money, but there's still one thing that you need to understand. Although your book cover is very important when you're trying to create your book on Amazon and your book title, your book title is also very important because this is where you can, you have the opportunity to use keywords that will make people find your book. So right now we're going to be visiting after that research, you're going to visit um, amazon.com. Um, um, let's come to amazon.com. So right now we are now on Amazon. We want to look for um, that particular um, niche, that fantasy. We want to um, look for how we're going to create our own book and ensure that it's going to sell. So one thing, another thing you should also understand is that you need to download um, another um, another extension is called Amazon Keyword Expander. So when you're trying to search for um, something on Amazon, 
would um, give you um, a, it will give you suggestion of some of the kind of things that you can actually that people are searching for on Amazon. So you click on this Amazon suggestion, but I already have this um, suggestion expander. So it's going to show me remove. So I'm not going to remove. For those of you that don't have, just add it to your extension. Once you've done that, then let's continue. So we're going to come over to this place now. And um, we're going to come here and select it to books because we're actually working with books. So um, before I forget, I don't know if I mentioned this, when you come to this particular um, section, because when you come to this place first, you are going to see it's saying, showing like all, all departments, any department. So you have to go down and choose Kindle store. Do you understand? You have to choose Kindle store. So when you choose Kindle store, then you now have to choose Kindle eBooks. When you choose Kindle eBooks, when you choose Kindle eBooks, then you can now go ahead with the um, romance and whatever the market you actually want to do. So I just, I just thought to put that out. I don't know if I said that earlier. So right now we are here and we already have like something we have in mind, fantasy. So we're just going to come to this place and click on um, fantasy. And you see now that it's already bringing out several suggestions of books, several um, keywords that people are searching for. These are all of them here. Do you understand? So let's just say I click on, um, fan, um, I want to show you something actually. I really want to show you something here. Let's say you click on fantasy with mature characters. Now, these are the, um, these are the results that is showing there. But well, one thing I want you to take note of is this section here. This section here. Although this um on this doesn't look too much, but at the same time, it's better that this result shows 1,000 results, meaning that it is actually something that you can work on. Do you understand? It is actually something you can work on. When you see that it's showing 1,000. It is very, very okay. The result is not too much. It's not too saturated. Let me show you an example. Let's just put, if you just put fantasy alone as a keyword, I'm going to show you what will happen. Can you see that we have over 100,000 results? That is already super saturated. So you cannot even think of breaking into that kind of market. So you have to, at every point in time, look for a way to break down that particular um, niche, that keyword that you have, break it down into simpler terms, you know, that's for you to get the best keyword that you can actually work with. So right now, let's say if I, I already did something fantasy uh, and how it works. The, the expander actually suggested this to me um, earlier when I was trying to um, create this video. So let's just search for of this. So can you see now fantasy and how it works? You can see that we have just 175 results, just 175 results. So now that you see that the results are so low, meaning that you can break into this market, you now scan through what is happening here, scan through all this, um, what other people have done, and now you can create something that is way better than all of this, create something that is super, super good, and you'll be able to sell it. So much more than all of this, you need to pay attention to those things that I've already told you earlier. You need to pay attention to your, um, you need to pay attention to the bestseller rank, ensure that it does not exceed 20,000. If, if you come to a niche and you see that the bestseller ranks are starting from 20,000, let's try something. Let's try this one. So let's go down. Let's see what the bestseller rank is going to show. Well, you can see this one is showing 49, it's showing 87. So this is actually still a good market too. Yes, this is a good market if you want to do. So you have, um, it's not just about creating books on Amazon. You need to take your time to actually do keyword research. You need to be sure that what you're writing on, the, the niche you're writing on, the keywords that you're using are things that people are searching for on Amazon. It's actually very, very important. This is one of the things that will ensure that you succeed or your book actually does well on Amazon. So this is actually the end of this video for today. I'm going to be sharing more information on um, how to um, succeed on Amazon and how to publish books um, and how to create the right books on Amazon. I've actually done a lot of videos on Amazon before now. So ensure that you actually check out my videos. Oh, ensure that you check out my previous videos because I've done a lot of videos on Amazon. So we've come to the end of today's video. I hope you actually got value. I didn't want this video to be too long. And at the same time, I, want, I wanted to ensure that you got the point of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share with your friends. So I come your way next time. 
拜拜。